malinis sa pagkagawa. I really love it, especially the belt that I made. It's really cute. It's made of zipper. I find it very innovative. And I really love the outfit. So I'm sure na magiging safe ako. Na contento naman ako dun sa ginawa ko. And I was able to finish on time. Though, yung idea ko talaga, as in, mas extreme, pero wala naman type. When I saw my creation walking down the runway, Medyo nag-worry ako kasi hindi ko alam kung ano yung gusto ng judges eh. And compared to everybody, ang plain-plain ng akin kasi it's just a simple dress. Straight lang yung cut niya, tapos yung texture lang yung bamboo yung parang pinaka-panlaban niya. When I saw my creation on the runway, I felt good. I think Sally worked the garment well. The challenge is about vision. I think I interpreted the photo well, so... I think I'm very safe for this challenge. When I saw my gown in the runway, I was so like amazed. I can't believe that I finished it within one and a half day only. It's so intricate, detailed. It's like kind of fabulous and stayed specially on the model. I'm very happy of it. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, so if I've called your name, please step forward. Bo, Philip, Ellie, Winnie, Ivan, and Jazz. If I've called your name, you're not safe. The rest of you may leave the runway. You represent the highest and the lowest scores. One of you will be the winner and one of you will be out. You represent the highest and the lowest scores. We're gonna bring out your models and ask you about your designs and your inspiration. Let's start with Jazz. When I saw the lamp, I just fell in love with the color and the texture. So I said, I wanna do this into a dress, so. Here it is. I hope I can wear it one day. <laughs> it's beautiful. Well done. I'll make you another one. <laughs> well done. Well done. I like the clean lines. I saw the inspiration. I'd just like you to, again, learn from this and perhaps bring it more forward. The hardest part is from inspiration to articulate it in a form of art but you articulated it very well. You've learned a lot in the last few weeks. You're gonna go far, keep it up. It's a simple silhouette, but it still has an edge based on the technique that you did on the skirt. Good job. Bo. Uh, my inspiration is the facade of the store, it's Sputnik. Mm -hmm. I transferred it into a dress that it's very wearable, it's very uh, edgy. Rahul? I find it a little bit too literal. The, the quality really is, I have a big problem with the way it's sewn and all those puckering. I was wrong with the material. Maybe you could have diversified a little to show a little more creativity. I quite like it, but the quality guy is off. Like you should have slashed your seam and then you have to use your iron really well. Because your iron is your best friend. Yung cloth is not the plus the color. So knowing that, shouldn't you have done a design that will look good in that kind of material? Yeah, actually, I have the first design, but it's too much. So you can't blame it on yeah. the material. You should work around it. Yeah. You can't always make an excuse. Yeah. You and go up to it. Next, Philip. What I see in the picture is a collage of some rays. 
So th that's where I get my inspiration of the race. Since it's a collage of photographs, so I made a collage of it. That's it. It's interesting what you've done. I like, I get your collage inspiration. It's very clean work. You know, I, I laud you for your technical skills. I think in that sense, you're the best in this group. Having said that, you should also learn to edit more. Clearly, you got lost in the translation. Even the way you talk about your inspiration, hindi ko na makita. Next, Ivan. I got a part of um, a Philippine Eagle. Mm -hmm. So what I did, um, gumawa po ako ng feather like patch and they make embroidery embroidery and plan dapat pun in siya but we don't have enough time looks like a mulawin costume i'm sorry oh, i thought it was super ibong adana I, what is it superhero week diba? see the technique is there it's just that you have to learn how to edit um you, you were saying you're gonna fill it buto na lang hindi kasi pag pinunod mo na siya, lilipad na talaga siya, I swear. No. What I want you to concentrate on is your taste levels. I want you to open your mind, look around you, and truly open your mind to the possibility of a refined taste level. Kailangan mo lang talaga isipin kung paano magiging mas mukhang expensive, mas mukhang mahal yung damit mo. Okay, thank you. Next, Ellie. So I immediately ran towards the main boss. It represents my design philosophy. I, I want individuality. I made my applique using fusible. I had a lot of scars. But on the latter part, I used adhesive. And then, here it is. Um, you know, the process involved in creating uh, something like this should have been more eloquently stated. Right now, you are in a position where in everybody's going to be seeing your work. And I expect more from you guys, seriously. Uh, you know you have the talent, you guys have the guns, and I'm sorry, it's just disappointing. The skirt is not very flattering. It's just plain wrong. It's, it's buckering, it's in the wrong place. The proportions are wrong. Our construction talaga needs a bit of work. Actually, the, the darts on the skirt, it has boning so that it can stand because it, the, the fabric is a bit heavy. Yeah, but if yeah. you deepened your drapes, you yeah. wouldn't need the boning. I know, boning. I know, sorry. It would stand on its own. Okay. To me, it looks a bit rushed. Next, Winnie. I took a photo of a mural with pictures of famous places in Europe. So what immediately came to mind is a jet setter. The material I used is jersey, draped siya. Para for me, it's comfortable. Shorts also for, com for comfort. Would you travel in the same outfit? Um, Honestly, I want an honest answer. I would, um, would you? travel with coat on it. When I saw the picture, I thought, OK, this doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's for this project. I would have put more details on it, but syempre, uh, um, I don't want to make excuses, but pero hindi siya aabot. I made do with the time. You know, um, the problem here is that as people who will be judging you and they're in, in, in the real world of fashion, we don't care if you didn't finish it on time. We don't really care if you, you know, all the backstories. At the end of the day, we're looking at what you've come up on the runway. And if you're going to sort of like going to be showing that jacket draped on that particular bag, I mean, it doesn't look expensive. It doesn't look, um, you, you didn't probably think as much. You know, when you really have to step up to the level wherein your competitors are. We expected a lot of creativity from all of you. So if you ask me, I'm a bit disappointed with everyone, actually, because I expected a lot more. Considering we're into, what, our fifth? episode and this is what you're gonna show us I can go to the mall now and buy something exactly like that where's the vision there you're supposed to come up with something different something unique I know the standards are quite high but that's why we're here right we want to come up with the next best Filipino designer but if this is what's gonna happen and it's the vision challenge come on guys rally a little harder show the Philippines what you've got we've heard what you had to say we're gonna have a little chat and we're gonna call you back out.